Guys, the new Forerunner has just been teased. We're going to compare it to the old Forerunner. Grab your snacks and drinks, buckle in, and smash the heck out of that like button for the new 6th generation Toyota 4Runner. Let's go. You know, this is my second time filming this. <laughs> 15 minutes ago, all my audio got cut out, but here's the first gen Hilux Surf Toyota 4Runner. Lovely piece of art. Hardly see any of the first and second gen 4Runners on the road. Plenty of third gen, at least where I live. They're like cockroaches. They're impossible to kill. Uh, fifth, fourth gens out there with the V8 long live, the 4.7 liter V8. It was just, you know, they didn't offer this model too long because it was encroaching too much probably on the GX470 at the time. And then this guy's been around seemingly since 1984 when the first gen it came out for over a, well over a decade. Was it 13, 14 years since 08, 09 since this has been out? Even longer, maybe 15 years at this point. Uh, the the fifth gen has soldiered on with small updates over the years uh, with this solar octane paint color. Here's the new teaser. Let's compare it to a couple vehicles, okay? Uh, we're going to compare it to the, uh, here it is, the current 4Runner. Now, will the new 4Runner have a roll-down rear window? And I think there's a reason Toyota kept it out of this image. I think it's up here somewhere. Notice this has like a unique texture or pattern to it. I didn't catch that the first time around. You have a, a rear camera here. This is the Heritage Blue that we saw on this guy, the Land Cruiser J250. It's going to share so much, guys, with the J250. The rear end in the Heritage Blue between the two looks so similar. If it has a roll down window, it's not going to have the windshield wiper on the window itself. It's got to be tucked up and under, right? Uh, going back to here, right? It's got to be tucked up and under here. Now, the reason why Toyota didn't do it that way for the GX and the Land Cruisers, they said they were cost cutting. And the days of cost cutting, which is rampant in the industry and always has been and always will be, I don't want to get my hopes up too much on the rear window rolling down. But it's a trait to the Forerunner. And if that's gone, people are going to be livid, just like when people were livid when the J200 Land Cruiser for the 300 got rid of the split tailgate. That left a lot of people mad. Can't say the P word, but probably can, right? No one's editing this but me. But <laughs> let's get into it. We have silver garnishing on both the Land Cruiser as well as the Forerunner. Uh, we have a large tow hitch here. Maybe that's Toyota's like saying, hey, we're going to be able to tow a crap ton with the new Forerunner. We have a new eight-speed auto. We got a torquey four-cylinder. It's not confirmed, right? It's not confirmed, but the four-liter V6, rest in peace, homie. It's got to be gone at this point. The five-speed auto gone, re replaced with what's in the Tacoma. What's in the Tacoma is a 2.4 turbo, around 270 horsepower or so, a little bit more than that, over 300 pound-feet of torque. And it should be able to tow quite a bit in that configuration. The hybrids, though, like we've seen the Land Cruiser, we know since the batteries are in there, the electric motors, it's a heavier setup. It doesn't tow as much. If you look at the GX 550, it tows like 9,096 pounds, best case scenario. That thing tows like a train. But that's twin turbo V6, no batteries in there to weigh it down. This is not going to have twin turbo V6. It's not going to V8. It's not going to have any V6. Four-cylinder turbo and four-cylinder turbo hybrid, I'm 99% sure, based off of the Taco and the Land Cruiser. So it'll have the smaller iForce Max uh, with the eight-speed auto on the TRD Pro as well as the Trail Hunter. Well, no, Trail Hunter is not confirmed at this point. We have a trail hunter on the taco. It's all but it, you would think it has to come to this forerunner as well. Okay, what else? Well, um, just like on the Land Cruiser, you have this pedestal here so that you can step on. We have rear parking sensors like the J250. Uh, we also have the spare tire. Yes, long live the spare tire down here. Um, it doesn't look like we have the same recovery hooks like we have on the J250 right here. So, I mean, it doesn't mean you can't hook up to what, what these, these little pieces that come down. That's a possibility. Um, what else? We, here's the new tail lights, and the new tail lights are swept out all the way to the edge, just like the Land Cruisers are. Um, and I, I'm really struggling to see how Toyota can differentiate this model. Styling is one way. Powertrains can't really do it because 
the 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 TRD Pro will have the the same powertrain here as the Land Cruiser i4 Max. Um, it could have a manual transmission. That is something to look forward to or potentially look forward to because the Tacoma has a manual transmission, but after driving it, it really let me down. The eight-speed auto is fantastic in it, and that's the way I'd be going. If you're buying an old Tacoma, the manual is a lot better than the old six-speed auto, okay? But the new Tacoma, the new eight-speed auto is way better than the implementation, and the, yes, just, just watch my impressions on it. I was not, was not happy with this. I love the idea of the six-speed manual, Love manuals. But anyways, don't want to get off the rails. We could get a manual here on the 4Runner and 50-50 uh, shot. Okay, flip your coin and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, no buttons here. So let's get back to this uh, you know, fifth gen here. This is where the up and down buttons are sometimes on the 4Runner, right? Aren't they on the back here to roll down the window? I think I've seen that before. Am I losing my mind? No, I'm not losing my mind because I see them right here. So maybe they discontinued it after a certain model year, the up and down window buttons here on the lift gate. All right, so maybe we get those buttons back and maybe that's why Toyota gave us a hard cutoff here at the top of the bezel. Forerunner on the lift gate here at the very bottom instead of right above the license plate. I like this setup more. I don't know how I feel about this bright chromey lettering down at the bottom. I mean, if we look at the like the Sequoia, the new Sequoia, uh, let me pull it up for you guys. We had the lettering here at the bottom. That's kind of what they're doing here as well. Lettering right at the bottom of the lift gate. And this must not be the TRD Pro because TRD Pros like to black things out. So what trim? Is this the limited trim we're looking at? That's a good possibility. But... I don't know what else to say about this. I know that Toyota has a, a media event that I'm attending next month where I'm gonna drive the Taco Hybrid, the new Camry Hybrid, and the new Crown Signia uh, Estate Hybrid, whatever you wanna call it. And Toyota could reveal the 4Runner there. That's a possibility, especially with this teaser. It is a possibility. Um, what am I looking forward to on the 4Runner? More than anything, I think I'm looking forward to the design. Now that the powertrains are all but confirmed, we know the platform at this point based off of the GX, the Land Cruiser, uh, the Taco, the uh, the Tundra and the Sequoia, We know, and, and even the Lexus LX. We know what this platform's all about with the coil spring rear suspension, the live axle in the rear. But I'm really curious to see what they take from the Tacoma design-wise and put it on this vehicle. I'm interested to see how this is going to differentiate in price and packaging and features compared to the, the range-topping Land Cruiser. There's just a lot of questions I still have, design being the thing I'm most excited about. Now we have a clue about the rear. It's it's very It looks very vertical here but it can't be too vertical because that's what the Land Cruiser decided to do. But anyways, I got to shut it down there. Get this video out to you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you want out of the new 4Runner. You're not going to get a V8. You're not going to get a V6. I hate to burst your bubble. That's just the reality of the situation. But we can get our hopes up for the window rolling down like previous generations. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And stay tuned because Toyota... Like the Tacoma, they played the teaser game long. It was every Tuesday. It was a Taco Tuesday. Maybe this is, since it's coming out on Thursday, maybe this is a forerunner Thursday lead up to the reveal maybe in a month or so. Okay, I got to shut down there and get this video out. Peace.